Our next segment, we're turning our attention to a nice little DIY project as we see Zoe teaming up with builders, creating something rather unique for the boudoir. Yeah, I love this one. It's called a deep buttoned headboard. And what we love about this one, it's not only um, very utilitarian, but it also provides a beautiful decorative piece. Time to hand over to our DIY princess. Hello. Fancy a beautiful handmade headboard that you can rest your head on while you drift off into dreamland? Then maybe making your own headboard is just the thing for you. Now the idea of upholstery can be very intimidating and it sounds expensive, but thanks to builders, everything you need you can get from them. And once you wrap your head around the idea of a headboard, you'll see it's not that difficult. You will need chipboard, measuring tape, a drill and wood drill bit, medium density foam cut to size, a staple gun, a glue gun, some fabric, coverable buttons, as well as industrial strength thread and an extra long darning needle. Next, we will drill the holes into our chipboard of where we want to place our buttons. But before we do that, we need to measure out where we want them. So I decided to use a diamond pattern, but the great thing is you can choose any pattern you want. So once you're happy with where you want to place your buttons, it's time to drill the holes. Make sure you've got a good hole on it. Now that we have all our holes in place, oh, we can get rid of this big boy. We don't need it anymore. What we will need though, is our foam. And we will attach it using the glue gun. Now, as you can see, I'm applying small dollops of hot glue onto my chipboard. And at the same time, the minute the dollops are completed, I put the foam down to ensure it's nice and secure. I'm going to continue this process all the way through till the end. We'll simply take our material and cover it, and for now, tuck it underneath. Now it's time for us to attach the button. So what you'll need is a piece of string, cut it off, and thread one of our buttons through the end. So we'll take both our needles and use the first needle and feed it through from the bottom through one of the holes we drilled earlier. With our first needle securely in place, we'll take our second one along with the string and the button and just feed both ends of the string through the eye of the needle. Use the first needle as a guide and the second needle will follow so that we can get the button and the rope through the sponge and the original hole we drilled to follow through. And as that goes through, we'll pull it all the way down and feed the rope through. We'll pull it nice and tight, make it knot at the bottom and secure it with a drawing pin. Now that we have our first button and you can see the deep button effect that we'll be making our headboard pattern, let's do the rest. Now that we have all our buttons in place, we only have one step left to do and that is to flip this over and secure the loose pieces of material with a staple gun. You know what? We're done with this. Toby! Sorry Zola! Voila, there we go, done and dusted. Thanks to builders, we were able to create a beautiful headboard, the perfect thing to give your bedroom that finishing touch at a fraction of the cost.